want to share with you something on the shortcuts in the Windows 10 that you can use to spin your work or to make it easy for you to operate your PC. Okay, here on our keyboard we have so many keys and they have their meaning, eh? but for today let us learn only the shortcuts. Okay, I wish you will enjoy the class and don't, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. If I upload the new video, you'll get it. Okay, so I wish you enjoy the class. Uh, I will start with uh, the, the easiest and uh, many of us know this. So the shortcut that we have here, like uh, you can use the control A. Control A, obviously we know it is to select all the items in the window. So if you use the control A, you select the items on the window, the items on your computer. So if you want to use the control C, it is to copy the selected items to the clipboard. Hope you get it. We have another key that you can use as your shortcut, which is a control, control N. This is to open a new window. Control N. You, you place it like this. You control N. Control N. That is to, to open a new window. So you can use the control, control V. Control V. Most of us know. Control V. Control V. That is to paste your items that you have selected on your computer. We have also the control W. Control 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 W Oh my viewers you can see Control W Control Control W That is to close all the windows that you have opened before You have another key You Control X that is to cut To cut the selected items We have also the Control Control Z that is to undo the action. We have we have control tab which you move forward through the tabs. You have the control shift then hand that is to create a new folder. Control shift then and you shift to another folder or you open another you create a new folder. So we have another key the shift shift allo shift plus allo so you use the two hands shift plus hello shift plus allo that is to select more than one item hope you can get me hope you are getting me clear so we have another shortcut which is shift plus delete that is to delete without moving your items to side copy we have the shift we have we have an alt this is the alt we have alt plus f4 you can see f4 if that you can use that only when you want to close any task or to power off your computer alt then f4 you want to close out the tab alt then f4 that is used to close out the tabs or if you want to power off your computer in a shortcut way you have f2 that is to name your selected folder. You have the F2. F2 it is here. You can use your F2 if you want to rename the selected folder. Okay, we have we have uh, we have another shortcut keys that uh, we can use using the home menu. Hope you can see the home menu. If you place this you close or open the start menu if you place the home button you close or start the menu if you place this and D if you place this and D you display or hide the desktop like you can see on my computer you control D you hide you hide the desktop so if you want to use control e you display the file explorer call you the, the starting menu and e you open the file file explorer 
hope you can get it so we have another shortcut key which is home button and help that is when you want to lock your computer you have another shortcut shortcut key that is on this menu home menu you can see the home menu plus m home menu m that is when you want to minimize all the windows we have the home menu plus s home menu s home menu s that is to open search opening search if you want to search something if you want to search something on your computer you control you use use the starting menu plus s so another shortcut that we have you you can press the home menu plus tab so you open the the task view the task view yeah we have another shortcut menu here escape that is to cancel the current task we have the control alt plus delete control alt plus plus delete that is to end the task manager in your computer so for now friends we will stop at that let me for another